Hello everyone, welcome to BIMmodeler.com. In this video tutorial, uh, we will be starting a new series of tutorial about tribute structures. You can continuously watch and practice it. With that, so let me share the uh, quickly what is the syllabus that we are going to cover. So this is the syllabus and as you know, this will be uploaded to our website and the link will be given in the description below. So these are the syllabus that uh, what are the structural topics are there we will be covering all those topics and we will be having four projects uh, in this topic uh, based on the what are the topics that we are covering so let's start uh, say what is there so we will be learning in this video we'll be learning uh, like two things about the trainer about me about the course so totally about this in this course you will be able to learn uh, what is the system requirement where do we download and uh, other details as well so introduction so about me uh, maybe if you are following BIM modeler you may be knowing it so myself Raj uh, you can say Rajkumar Nalusami uh, my full name and I'm the founder of BIMmodeler.com where we offer services for consultant, design consultant and uh, manufacturer for family creation, parametric family creations. I worked as a trainer in my early career, so I can start to train different people also. What is the service that we offer? If you see that uh, we offer a specific option, like get a BIM person, you can get a BIM person, it could be modeler, coordinator or manager. Uh, that is one service we offer. We do complete package a uh, multidisciplinary modeling options like architecture, structure, MEP. Uh, our team can be able to take up the project and can deliver in modeling. And we also support many manufacturers, uh, building product manufacturers for their product to be converted as BIM rubid content. So we are making and we are working with them and we do upload that into our website as well. So that as you can go and download it and uh, you can utilize in your project as an architect or as a civil engineer or MEP engineers. We do uh, realistic rendering and we do uh, dynamo scripting also. You can contact me uh, raj at bimmodeler.com for any inquiries. So what is Revit structure? So Revit structure is also one of the software tool where it helps to deliver a BIM model uh, which uh, majorly focuses on the BIM process. So the one of the software, Revit also one of the software which adopts the BIM process in the early stage. That's the reason the Revit, Revit software is very familiar after AutoCAD and SketchUp. You can see the industry that they are using Revit as the major software. So Revit structure is specifically in the same software. You can have a, a different discipline as structure. Uh, where we can work together as a Revit structure model also. Basically it creates column, beams, structural elements, beams and uh, braces, whatever the elements related to uh, structures. So learning from this course, uh, you know that uh, you will be able to understand uh, BIM modeling in Revit. So how do we model, how to give information to the particular element and how do we organize it like that. And uh, specifically structural modeling and it's not a designing course, you will not be able to know what is the size of the column to be made, what is the beam size to be there, what is the thickness of the slab, or what is the reinforcement size need to be given. So you are not going to learn that. So it will be addressed separately. Uh, but this course, it's all about uh, how to model in Revit uh, and whole package of uh, Revit software, Revit structural. So basic family creation you'll be able to know create schedules and documentation and work sharing in the local uh, networking so as you know that uh, uh, this is for uh, as i said that this is for a civil engineer and uh, architect people can use it and uh, even uh, if you needed multidisciplinary people also that means mechanical electrical people also can learn it so if you are a, a bim manager or if you are a coordinator if you want to be a bim manager or coordinator uh, you can get to know the elements, uh, what is column, what is beam, so that the the elements, your elements, or it could be a mechanical elements, 
uh, can interact with the beams so you need to know that how it interacts how it clashes so what element it's clashing with so is it possible to move it or not so if it is a beam we cannot cut it through so these things basically you need to know it so you can as a mechanical electrical engineers also can learn it so those who want to be a, a beam manager beam coordinator beam engineers can learn it those who are in site so if you are a site person so if you want to take a printout out of a trivet model so you must be knowing that how to use the documentation and sheet creations and how to do the printing so you can learn it so basically this is for anyone who is interested to learn trivet structure so i can see that us and other countries the the people are using the, the non-disciplined domain people also started learning uh, with a couple of people I have trained it. Um, they are not into uh, civil, but even they they are learning the rivet structure. So prerequisitions, so you must be having rivet and AutoCAD software installed in your system so that you can view the model uh, in uh, the input files in AutoCAD and you can model it in rivet. And uh, so it's, it's, it's a technical drawings and uh, industry to learn and practice. I would say that you have to practice whatever the sessions that you are seeing, apart from the theory sessions, you can go and learn it as much as possible. How to get the software? So uh, if, if you say that what is the software and uh, where what is the hard drive requirement? So you know that 4 GB and 2 minimum 4 GB RAM and 2 GB graphics card recommended is 16 GB and 4 GB graphics card. So uh, you can get a 30 days trial or if you are working with a company, you can get a uh, license also in your system. And if you are a student or if you have a, a student friend, um, you can get a student license of uh, one year uh, of uh, Autodesk collaborations or Autodesk whole package AEC collection or uh, you can get a, in one of the particular software and you can install it in your system. So as I mentioned, uh, so this syllabus and whatever the file that we are using, we will be uploading in our BIM Modeler website. And uh, because usually people tend to ask for these files and uh, I, I used to send them in mail. So it's, it's not happening. You have to log in, in in the BIM Modeler website and you have to download the objects, uh, whatever the files that we are uploading. The important links will be there. So uh, I may not be able to teach you what is BIM. So this course is not about the BIM. So if you need to know a couple of things about the BIM, I can share you a couple of links in the description. You will be able to uh, click those and you will be able to understand the basic of uh, BIM. A uh, couple of websites are there, open source websites are there. So you can leave your comments, whatever the queries are. If I'm missing any option in the dialog box, particularly if you need that option, you can leave your command. If it is good, leave your command so that it encourages me to go further and do further more. So files can be downloaded. So disclaimer, so I'm not using any uh, illegal softwares. I'm not recommending any uh, illegal softwares to download. It means crack. I don't use a crack. We have a paid version of commercial license as we are doing projects. So we have a commercial licenses. So we are using that license as the uh, here. So as I mentioned, this is not a BIM course. It's a BIM tool, rivet structure. We are going to learn that. See you on the next video.